Canada's Natalie Wilkie celebrates after crossing the finishing line wearing short sleeves. Cross-country skiers plowed through slushy snow wearing t-shirts on day 5 of the Beijing Winter Paralympics Wednesday, as spring-like weather pushed temperatures well above freezing. The warm spell caught some athletes off guard on the largely man-made snow at the Zhang Jiago cross-country event, where six gold medals were up for grabs. This time it was the opposite problem. Up on the slopes temperatures were about 10 degrees cooler, but still well above freezing as the artificial snow began to melt. You pull and you feel like you're stuck in glue, said Skarstein, who raced in short sleeves. For Canadian visually impaired cross-country skier Brian Kiva, 43, who won his 15th Paralympic gold medal, the conditions proved advantageous. This is more about finesse. French gold medalist Benjamin Daviot, who won the men's standing event, said the conditions also worked in his favor. Paralympians recalled that they had endured similar warm weather at Pyeongchang 2018 and Sochi 2014. Organizers told AFP that, along with strong winds, the temperature is projected to be higher than that in the same period of previous years. Grind fest. It was becoming a grind fest, he said. It's slowing everyone down. For people with less function, they are not using their abs, they are not using their back, they are not throwing their body into all the pull strokes, they are just using their arms. At the wheelchair curling there were dramatic scenes, during Canada's win against Britain, when one player fell from his wheelchair and had to be taken off the ice on a stretcher. He received initial first aid from the team's nurse and physio.